Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to organize your desk setup. So as you can see over here, I got my desk set up and it's kind of, you know, kind of messy. Got wires hanging down here and whatnot. As you can see on my main desk setup here, everything's nice and clean, neat and orderly. I haven't made a video on this particular setup, but I will make a video showing you exactly what I did to this particular setup, probably in the next couple weeks here. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna to do to this setup to make it nice, neat, and orderly. Um, it's gonna be a two-part um, video here. So on the first video, I'm gonna show you how to install North Value Dual uh, Monitor Desk Mount. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to install this. So without further ado, let's move into it and get this setup looking nice and neat. So the first thing we're gonna do is get everything out of the box here. Everything unpacked so we, see what, so we can see what we're working with. All right, so as you can see here, we have everything um, unpackaged. We have the dual monitor mount right here. Uh, various other brackets as well that you're gonna to need to be able to mount everything properly. We also have the various um, screws that you may need. And they also provide it inside this kit. You can see it have the uh, Allen, a couple different Allen keys here to be able to help you with the install. Um, another item that you may need to use is going to be a Phillips screwdriver. This is something that I'm going to have to use to remove the uh, monitor stands off now so that I can install this dual um, monitor mount onto my desktop. Instructions are also provided in the kit here as you can see. Let's open these up. Looks like everything on this one is in Japanese on that side and on this side let's look at look at this one everything here is going to be in English so you can uh, understand it so let me open this up just give you a quick overview of the manual and installation procedure like I said I'm going to show you how to do that but it's still good to have a reference to the manual so if you need to pause the video to take a look at something that you see here maybe if you get um, stopped on a particular step you can just use this manual to reference back to the position um, or, or to the, the point where you're having to issue it. All right, so now I'm gonna start taking apart the uh, monitor stands from the monitor themselves. Get my desk clear here. Go ahead and turn off the monitors, turn off everything. Uh, once you have those off, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my power strip and unplug the monitors. All right, so I'm gonna start with my right monitor here. I'm gonna get these wires ran through my, my cable holes here. I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug everything just so nothing's in my way. Unplug the HDMI cable as well as the power supply cable. I'm gonna get that out of the way. And I'm going to remove the bolts or the screws out of my monitor stand. I just wanna get them loose at first because I don't wanna take them all the way out with the monitor standing up because then my monitor, monitor is going to fall on the table. So get these loose. I'm going to lay this down. You may want to put a towel or something down on your, um, on your, under your monitor. That way you don't, you don't damage your monitor. Um, I'm going to lay it down on my, my large uh, mouse pad here and just remove the screws. All right, so I got all four screws loose. Just gotta pull them out before I can actually take this mount off though. All right, now that I got all four screws loose and out, I can take my monitor stand out. I'm going to be using the same screws that I use for my monitor stand to utilize on the back of the, or the back of the monitor itself for installing the, um, the, the new dual uh, monitor mount. So I'm gonna set my screws to the side here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this monitor out of my way for the time being. Now I'm going to start on the next monitor, remove that stand. Pretty much the same process here. I'm going to go ahead and route my wires back through the, the holes here and unplug them from the back of the monitor. And you may want to fast forward through some of this because it's exactly the same procedure as my first monitor and it may vary depending on the type of monitor you have. So I just want to show you an example which is why I'm showing you how I have to remove the sands on my monitor. So let's go ahead and get these screws removed. Again, I'm gonna set these screws to the side because I wanna use them when I mount the dual mount monitor stand. Set my stand over out the way 
And I'm gonna also move this monitor out of my workspace so I can install the stand. All right, for this next step, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna get your bag here. You're gonna to want to remove the larger screws that you see here. You're gonna to want to remove them out of your package. There should be six in total. You do have a couple smaller screws as you can see here. You don't want to get these. You want to get the larger screws that have an Allen style type head. You also want to get your smaller Allen wrench out of your tool kit that'll fit this particular screw. Once you have that, what you're going to do, is you're going to get this bracket. You have two of them. Let me grab the other one. You get both of these brackets. You're going to bolt them onto the uh, monitor stand. So as you can see here, they'll line up to the bolt holes. See if I can get a better view of that. You just put it in here like so. Start to thread your screws in. I'm just gonna get them all started, then I'll thread them in with my Allen key that they provided. Right, so I got the first bracket on, Let's move to the second one. Just massage it in place so it kind of rests in the spot where it needs to be. You're gonna get your screws put in this side. Again, it's gonna be three screws on each side. Two at the top and one at the bottom on each side. Move that a little bit closer into the view here. All right, so now you're gonna get your Allen key. You're gonna tighten each of them up. You're gonna get it nice and snug. I'm just gonna get them all snug first and we'll go back and give them a little bit more of a, of a, a torquing to, the, uh, to each bolt. These top ones might uh, be easier if you screw them as far um, as you can screw them in as far as you can first before you put the allen wrench on them because it's going to be kind of tough to fit the allen wrench on and and turn it without taking it out each time you don't have to get them super tight but you do want to get it snug last one boom there we go all right so the next thing you're going to do you got your other two brackets here to so have the little turn knob on them this is how you're going to actually secure it to the desk as you can see it'll fit on these brackets like so Try to get a better view of it here. So you just slide them on like so. You have different notches and it'll lock itself in place. As you see each notch, once you kind of put, put, put some pressure on it, it'll lock itself in place. So it depends on the size desk that you have. As you can see, my desk is kind of thin. So I'm probably gonna have to put it on the notch two or, not, uh, or one and then tighten it up from there. So let's go ahead and get this position to where I want it on my particular desk. They're gonna to start to tighten the, um, the notch, uh, tighten the turn knobs down here. And I just wanna show you that, you see I have both of these installed. They'll kind of rest in place. Of course they can come off if you put, you know, if you wiggle it around, it can come off, but they will kind of rest in place when you attempt to install it. And this is definitely a lot easier if you have a second person to help you. I'm gonna do it by myself just to show that you can do it by yourself, but I'm going, but it will be a lot easier if you have uh, somebody that can help you hold the, uh, this stand while you while you tighten it up from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna make sure I got it uh, nice and center. And then I'm gonna start to tighten the knobs now. So I got it there. As you can see, it'll kind of rest in place, but you kind of want to make sure that you have it centered. I'm gonna use this little notch I have on my desk to make sure that I have it centered. I'm gonna push it all the way up against the tape, the, um, the desk. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. You can get a, a ruler or, or a tape measure to make sure that you get it perfect, but I'm going to eyeball it. You can stand up to get a better view here. And once you feel like you have it in the proper place, you're going to go up underneath and tighten the knobs up. All right, so as you can see here, I have my brackets in place. I'm going to start to tighten them up. I do currently have them on the second notch. I'm gonna try to bump it up to the first notch and then tighten it up. So let me see, I'm gonna have to loosen it, the knob first. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the, loosen the knob so I can slide it up one more notch here and then tighten it up. All right, so now I have it on the, uh, have the right side bracket or depending on your perspective, the left side. I have the side that I'm working on, <laughs> on the first notch. So I'm gonna tighten it all the way up here or get it snug. All right, so I got it snug here. Gonna do the same for the other side, loosen it up some. And then I'm gonna slide it up to the very first notch and then start to tighten it down. All right, have it on the first notch now. And I'm starting to tighten it down on this side. 
if you don't get it centered perfectly at first, you can always come back and adjust it. Um, but it's, it's easier now to get it positioned where you want it before you get your monitors mounted. Once you get your monitors mounted, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to, to get everything lined up properly, but you can still do it. All right, get these nice and snug. Definitely don't want anything to fall. I want my monitors to fall because I didn't tighten up my bracket tight enough. That should be good there. It's gonna double check, tighten them up one more time. All right, that should be good. So let's go back up top and make sure that it feels sturdy. Yes, it does. The whole table is moving, as you can see. So everything's nice and sturdy. So our next step is going to be the best part, which is mounting our monitors onto the stand. All right, so now I'm going to grab one of my monitors here. And what I'm going to do, on my particular monitor, I have these little rubber um, guards covering up the screw holes. This is just how it is from the uh, factory for this particular ASUS monitor. All right, and what I'm gonna do is gonna get my screws started. I'm not gonna tighten them up all the way, of course, I'll just get them started. On the top, just the top two screws, very important. Let's get them started. And depending on your uh, monitor, or the spacing for the holes itself, will depend on what mount you need to use here. You see you have two at the top, and then you also have two right here a little bit below the top. Same thing for the bottom. So it depends on the spacing that you have for your screw holes is where you're gonna actually mount your particular monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead, but this one looks like I can rest it right up on the top. All right, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. So let me show you exactly what I did. So I just got, I just got them resting right up on the top here and just screwed them in a couple threads. You wanna make sure you do have it screwed in enough so that way, you know, the screws don't fall out and your monitor falls on the table. So do make sure that you have them screwed in at least uh, two or three threads on each, um, each of these top screws. Now what I'm gonna do is install the uh, screws on the bottom here. All right, so now I'm gonna install the bottom two screws before I tighten them all up. All right, so this one get it kind of snug. I'm not gonna get it tight yet. And then go over to my right side over here and get this one as well, drop my screw. Maybe easier with this one actually, I have to rotate the monitor so I can get a better, I can access it better. The, the arm is kind of in the way. So the good thing about this mount is you can see, you can just rotate it. Get a position where you need to, to put that screw in. And then once you got it in place, you go ahead and snug it down. And before I get it, like I said, before I get it tight, I'm gonna put it back to us where its home position would be or where, I, you know, where I'm gonna typically keep it mounted, which is gonna be horizontal. I'm not gonna mount this monitor vertical, although I do have the option to turn it that way um, if need, need be. But I'm gonna tighten the uh, top two screws up first. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the bottom two screws up. They don't have to be super tight, just nice and snug. And then rotate it one more time to get that screw that's on the right hand lower corner. It's a little difficult to reach without rotating it. All right, so now we got our first monitor mounted. Let's go ahead and move this kind of out of the way some. Let's move that out of the way and get the second monitor. Let's go ahead and get that mounted. Grab the second monitor now. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and re remove my little rubber grommets that I have. Like I said, you probably won't have this depending on the type of monitor you have. I've never, this is the first monitors that I've had this, that came with these particular grommets pre-installed from the factory. The same thing, you're gonna just get the top two screws started. One, two, a couple turns, like you did on the first monitor. So it'll hold in place on the bracket. A couple turns again, all right. Let's go ahead and mount this one. I got it mounted. Now I just need to tighten the screws up on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this around so I can get to it a little bit better. Put that bottom screw in on the uh, right hand side first. 
Now, just like on the other side, I got to rotate it so I can get to the other screw like I want to. And rotate it like so. Get the other screw started. All right, now we can rotate the monitor back to its um, horizontal position. Tighten up the, the upper two screws. Get them nice and snug, like so. Now get the bottom two screws. The one is easiest to get to first. Get that one nice and snug. And then rotate it one more time. Get to that hard to reach one. Get that one nice and snug. All right, boom, just like that, we have the monitors mounted. Now we got to do the uh, wire routing. So that's very important too. Um, another really good thing about this particular uh, monitor stand is it has a cable um, routing system, as you can see here. It's really nice to be able to have that built into it. So it allows you to really neatly put your cables and route them through this monitor arm so they're not really in the way and, and taken away from the appearance of your setup. So next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get those cables routed. And then we can position the monitors exactly how we want them to get the finished product. Before we can complete the routing of the cables, there is one screw up on it here. It's a little funky to get to, but you do have to remove this built screw so you can take this little um, cover off here to wrap your cables. So I'll go ahead and take that off here on the, my left monitor first, then I'll do it on the right. All right, and it's just that one screw and it doesn't appear that the bottom wants to come out. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm going to start routing my cables here. Starting with my HDMI cable, go ahead and plug this in like so. Got the power supply, go ahead and get that plugged in here. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit out of view here. I'm gonna make sure I get everything plugged in properly. So now we're gonna route cables through here and you as you can see this does open up here <laughs> you, you kind of pull this back it's spring loaded to, to move your to wrap your wires in there so we're gonna get the power supply back plugged in here power cord all right and we're gonna do the same thing for the HMI cable we're gonna just lower that down some draw the cable in there like so and we're in there like swimwear let's go so now we're gonna go ahead and Get this, get these cables routed through here, just like so. Get that back up and in place. And boom, that's it, the cables are routed. Let's go ahead and tighten that screw back up on this side. Just make sure you don't accidentally pinch your wire where that screw is gonna go. And then just tighten that screw back up. All right, got that screw nice and snug there. All right, so we're gonna just let those wires kind of sit. And we're gonna move over to the right-hand side, do the same thing, repeat the steps. Let's rotate this monitor in and out of the way. Remove this screw. All right, got to screw all the way out that time on this side. Let's go ahead and pop this off. Like so. Let's hit this laser wrench right there. Go ahead and route your Go ahead and route your HDMI cable and your power cord. Get my power cord first here. I'll plug that up here. All right. Same thing on this side. You have a spring-loaded cable guide. Just pull that off. Pull that down some. Route your cable in. And get that my other HDMI cable here. All right. Found my other HDMI cable. It decided to play hide and go seek, but I found it so. Go ahead and get that plugged up, just like so. And route it through your cable guide. I'm telling you, I really love this cable guide. That's gonna make everything look so much cleaner. And it's nice that it's built into the stand. No additional zip ties or anything required. So that's a really nice feature. All right, get it routed in to each slot, like so. Just like we did on the other side. Just boom, push it right on up till it kind of snaps in a little bit. And you just gotta put your screw back in. Again, making sure that I didn't pinch anything. I put the wires 
as close as I could to the right hand side of that uh, this cable guide here. I'm just gonna get everything nice and snug again. Boom, nice and snug, good to go. Bada bing, bada boom. We're almost there, guys. We're, we're pretty much there, honestly. Only thing we need to do is make part two of the video. Let me uh, kind of get these monitors sitting where I want. I'll be right back. And boom. This is going to be the soccer point of this first video. I'm going to make the second video and get all this mess cleaned up with this other very, very cool um, organizer here. This is called the Tap Up Desk Mounted Power Strip Organizer. So this is going to be the very uh, next step um, in video two. I'm going to show you how to get that all up and um, installed so we can get all the wires neat and orderly underneath the desk. But as you can see here, we have no wires showing here. We're good to go, everything looks clean. I love those monitor stands. This mount is gonna be very, very useful for me. It's gonna allow me to be able to turn my monitors however I need to, uh, move them wherever I need to. Um, so it's gonna be very useful for my workspace when I'm you know, doing whatever I need from video editing to my my day-to-day -day job. It's gonna be very uh, useful for me having this stand. And then the fact that I can keep everything neat and orderly on my desk and have all this real estate here. So just from Installing those stands, I mean, this mount, I can get rid of these stands, which were taking an enormous amount of space. I mean, this is a pretty deep desk here, but by the time you put these stands on it, it just takes so much of your real estate. This stand here literally takes up a couple inches and you have all this extra room, you know, to work with. So I'm very satisfied with the outcome of these mounts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go watch the um, second video so you, you can see exactly how to get your wires neat and orderly and out from under your desk and reduce all of that clutter. So with that being said, tune into the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.